why am I not having a baby? Why can I not get pregnant? That's just something you, you do. The baby embryo, which every single one of them was genetically tested, so it wasn't the embryo, they just wouldn't stick. They would go transfer and then you kind of do this two week wait thing and every time it was, it was nothing. Uh, she was a triathlete and uh, extremely fit, had no symptoms, and we really thought this was going to be a male factor in fertility. Every test we had to look at my uterus from a superficial side of things, an ultrasound, tubes were open, the uterus seemed okay, the eggs seemed okay, the sperm seemed okay, I was okay, and so we're like, okay, well, what do we fix in that? And I suggested to her that she try the Receptiva DX test. Dr. Lessey suggested that we do a biopsy to check for a protein that would be an indicator of endometriosis, and I was open to anything at this point looking for a cause and ultimately looking for success. Cammie did the endometrial biopsy, and uh, I was a little surprised to see that the test turned out positive. And it was comforting to us that we still had that one more chance to have a natural child. Once we knew that there might be endometriosis uh, in Cami, it offered an opportunity for treatment and possibly a, a new level of excitement and anticipation for her. You know, you may be asymptomatic and have no clue and there's no really other better way to look. She was uh, willing to undergo laparoscopy and at the time we did the surgery, uh, we were uh, delighted actually to find that there really was endometriosis present and were able to remove it uh, entirely with excision. Had I not gone through the biopsy and had we not found the protein marker, then I probably would have never known I had endometriosis. There would have been no way I would have voluntarily said, hey, take me to surgery, you might have this. After the laparoscopy, uh, she had remaining two uh, normal embryos defined by PGS, and we were able to transfer one, and uh, luckily the next pregnancy test was positive. We're gonna have a baby in September, and never thought I'd ever be in this position. Her name is Harper. Harper Grace.